Um, next up, we have Ultrasonics, who is bringing a technology that will increase the resolution of ultrasound images. Ultrasound is important in the diagnosis of a wide variety of uh, medical conditions uh, and disorders uh, affecting many different organs in the body. Uh, it's generally an affordable technology uh, and provides a lot of information that physicians can use quickly to advance the diagnosis or treatment process for a patient. ultrasound to examine liver cancer. Although ultrasound imaging is quite convenient, oftentimes it's hard to detect liver tumor clearly. Because ultrasound appearance of liver tumor is quite variable and the contrast is not obvious. So the diagnosis depends on skills and experience of the operator. But I would say sometimes it depends on luck. In addition to the issue of operator dependence, Ultrasound has technical limitations related to expected variations in patient's body habits. The most common issue is that if a patient is obese, uh, this degrades the ultrasound image and reduces uh, clarity of imaging various internal organs. If someone can overcome these issues and improve the quality of ultrasound imaging, it would be a great help. Anything that would improve the image quality in real time will assist the technologist or other ultrasound operator in getting diagnostic images uh, quickly and uh, effectively. Hello everyone, we're Ultrasonics. We focus on developing next generation medical ultrasound imaging. Medical ultrasound imaging, unlike X-ray, is non-invasive and very convenient. It's first choice for imaging everything. Ultrasound, unlike normal pictures taken by your smartphone, it's more like a radar, sending pulses into body and recording echoes. Ultrasound is very complex, so we need to tune many parameters to get a good ultrasound imaging. Most of the time, the recorded images are far from the ideal. It's a typical ultrasound imaging of a human heart. Although it was taken by an ultrasound technician with an advanced machine, it still suffered problems with low resolution, low contrast, noise, and so on. Many physicians and ultrasound technicians told us, ultrasound data are hard to replicate. The imaging quality is not good enough. We couldn't see something we wanted to see. The images could strain on my eyes, or the result is highly operator dependent. As you saw from the video, the physician said, the imaging quality varies from operator to operator, patient to patient, and hospital to hospital. Whether or not the disorders and the cancers can be diagnosed sometimes depends on luck. We think we must overcome these issues. If we can improve imaging quality, and simplify the imaging taking process, it will have a huge impact. Our goal is to make taking an ultrasound imaging as easy as taking a selfie. 
So we leverage advanced computational imaging techniques, which are well developed in photography to help us enhance medical ultrasound imaging. Here, we use the same machine or the same data, we can get a better image. Our technology increases contrast, improves resolution, and reduces noise. The software technology can be applied onto all the existing ultrasound machines and improve imaging quality in real time. Here is another example of breast tumor. Our technology enhances tissue-specific response, providing greater contrast between breast tumor and the normal tissue. We will build a web-based service where images are sent to the cloud, improved in the cloud, and then sent back to the users. Our service is disruptive, bring ultrasound from on-site to the cloud, leveraging group data in the server to optimize the imaging quality. Also, the cloud service builds an ever-growing database, which further help us to improve the technology. The more images we record, the better we improve. There's a big market in medical ultrasound imaging. While our technology can improve all types of ultrasound machines, the future trend is portable devices. Because of hardware limitation, the imaging quality of portable devices is not as good as that of high-end machines. Fortunately, portable devices usually come with Wi-Fi connection, so our technology will play a key role in improving portable ultrasound devices. We have been talking to ultrasound manufacturers, from big one to small one, which will be our strategic partners and our customers. We assist them to improve image quality while they help us to build the image database and help us to target end users, such as hospitals. At the same time, we have been interviewing physicians and ultrasound technicians getting feedback about our technology. 90% of interviewed physicians and technicians agree that our technology can provide greater contrast, sharpen tissue feature, and improve imaging quality. Our next step is to make better pictures lead to better treatment decision. According to physicians' feedback, our technology has a very good chance to provide additional information about ovarian cancer and the liver cancer, helping physicians to make accurate treatment decision. We are collaborating with several university medical centers to conduct the clinical investigation. Ultrasonics is a Princeton spin-off company. We have a very strong technology team comprised of a professor and the students in the engineering school at Princeton. Also, we have experienced mentors who are experts and entrepreneurs in the biotech and the medical imaging industry. We previously got 200,000 research funding to develop the technology and have filed a patent. In the next year, we will get strategic partners from ultrasound manufacturers to test our technology. Our go-to-market strategy is B2B. In 2018, we will start to generate revenue by technology licensing to ultrasound, tech, ultrasound companies. At the same time, we will continue building up our imaging database and conducting the clinical research. Once our database becomes comprehensive, we will launch the cloud service. Further, not just for ultrasound, we are expanding our service for other modalities of medical imaging, such as CT and X-ray. And not just for medical imaging, our technology can be used, used for homeland security and material testing. After 2020, 
our technology and the database will become much stronger and we will enter the next stage, directly targeting end users, such as hospitals, providing service for better diagnosis and the treatment in the future. We are ultrasonics. We are ready to revolutionize medical imaging. Thank you. Thank you, Ultrasonics, and let's hear from our panelists now. Um, so I, I just want to get this, get this straight. Um, the, the two things that you sort of, the, the two edges you have are, are in your image processing and in the, um, the cloud-based sort of data aggregation and, 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 and image analysis across m multiple uh, ultrasound images or thousands, millions of them? So, uh, I so, so you're doing image processing and then you're also doing sort of big data analysis? Yes, so process. our technology has two parts. One is the imaging processing algorithm and the database in our uh, server. So just the algorithm itself is very good while it will be much powerful if it's combined with the database and the image in our, in, in our server. So sorry, just a quick follow up to that. Are you concerned at all that the existing manufacturers are already doing both these things? Yes, so uh, as far as I know, ultrasound manufacturers has a this cloud service while they are used as server for st data storage and the data transmission. They don't use the image in their database to improve the imaging quality while we have uh, this technology. Thanks. My question is sort of related to that. What is your um, targeting strategy for making sure these um, companies that you've identified really will adopt your technology and will help you to grow it? So before 2020, our go-to-market strategy is B2B, doing technology licensing and providing service for ultrasound manufacturers. Our service is image improvement because of we can improve imaging quality better than ultrasound manufacturers do. So we are persuading them to outsource their RD on imaging enhancement to us. And so there's a, there are mutual benefits because we help them to reduce our R&D cost and we help them to improve imaging quality and they can expand their market share in medical ultrasound imaging. And in the beginning, we, to, in order to build up our credibility, we will start to use our technology on some specific types of ultrasound devices in a company. And as time goes on, we will use our technology for more types of machines. Um, if I read correctly, it said you're still, you're kind of entering a phase where you're gonna figure out if the enhanced images actually generate kind of better medical decisions and results. Like how confident are you, how big of a risk is it that you know, the image enhancement you do you know, doesn't actually make that big of a risk? Uh, you mean maybe we are over manipulating the image, that's kind of thing. Or, or just, just that you know, between those two, it yeah. doesn't really So happen. that's a reason why we are collaborating with many physicians. Like for example, um, we improve the image and quality, improve resolution. And some doctors say, okay, they just get used to some very blurred image. We suddenly provide a very sharpened image and they just get used to it. So just based on their feedback, we can just uh, fine tune our technology, just make sure it's true and we really reflect on the real clinical situation. I can ask another one, which is, I'm just curious, you know, you mentioned other applications, security, material testing, you know, why start with, with ultrasound? Uh, why start from ultrasound? So, because then we start from the medical imaging. While for, I can talk about the Homeland Security one. So the TSA contacted another co-founder, another co my advisor, Professor Jason Fleischer, say um, whether or not our technology can be used for ultrasound screening, just uh, screening our shoes so passenger doesn't, Person, passengers don't have to take off their shoes and to go through the security checkpoint. So 
they are aware of um, maybe we, we can use our technology for other applications. Yes. Is that? Yeah. Thank you, panelists, and thank you, Ultrasonics. <laughs> <laughs>